Hello fellow gearheads and welcome to the very first Rodeo Games. I'm Willie G. Alongside me here is my co-host, Mr. Nick Boca. Nick, why don't you tell them what we've got in store? Thank you, Willie. But first, let me make sure you know who this man is, because if you don't, shame on you, I'm going to write that wrong right now. My good friend Willie G is one of the top flight roadies in the game. He's guitar tech for the likes of Fergie and Slayer. From Anthrax to Megadeth, he's currently with Ghost. He's the real deal. My qualification, absolutely zero, apart from I maybe have this suit that I borrowed, I mean bought from the store, I'm not gonna take it back, I promise. We have two teams, Team Diodario, Team Gator, and there's a total of five competitions that will test their skill, agility, patience, dexterity, and most importantly, stealth. Anyway, enough of my nonsense. It looks like it's about to start, so let's head right over to the stage on a referee the awesome, the one and only, the very intimidating, Drew Consalvo. Rodeo game! Can I get the teams? Center stage, please. Roadies, center stage. I'd like to welcome you all to the Rodeo Games. We're gonna start this off with a couple of rules, a, a few. Hey, 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 listen up here. We're starting this off with some rules. Here's what we're gonna do, Okay. all right? We're gonna start with a ceremonial fist bump, okay? Ceremonial fist bump, please. We're gonna have a good, clean game, all right? Secondarily, there is no running on deck. If I see beyond a 45, that's gonna be a demerit of something that I just arbitrarily concoct. Good, safe loadout, high level of efficiency. Enjoy the rodeo games. To your yeah. corners. You know, Nick, I'm not much of a betting man, but these teams look like they both have a lot of promise. Do you have a favorite? You got someone that you like in this, or? I'm not sure, Willie. I've got friends in both teams, and they're all great people who make great content. But what interested me was when they were doing the introductions with Drew, there was some genuine animosity there. That wasn't fake. Those pulled back fist bumps, there was some friction. I want to see if that escalates or reduces. Mm. I'm hoping the former. I want to see fists. I mean, friendly competition. Blood on the dance floor. All right, it's that time. Let's go to our first event. Rodeo Games! Mike Stan Shuttle Run! Okay, what is the strategy as you My move My strategy forward? is just intimidation. I know Ryan, I know him well. He's older, I'm younger. I got this. I, I, I used to go to the gym a lot. He's and got that, a cool beard, but <laughs> I got a cool heart. That gives He's you an good. advantage? It gives me an advantage. Gives okay. me a great advantage. You know, we got this. All right, good luck to you. Thank you, thank you. So gentlemen, you're aware of the rules of the game. 13 mic stands on your side of the deck. We go to the rock star first and get that one on its spike mark. Okay, that'll start on my whistle, okay? Roadies, are we ready? Going down! <laughs> what was that? That wasn't a whistle, it was an owl call. Barrel wolf left. Now look at this, we've got Ryan from 60 Cycle who's waddling like a duck, and we've got Jason who's just waddling, basically. It's a mad dash. Trooping boom arm, one mic stand. Yeah, Ryan looks like he's racing ahead. Oh, Ryan's looking good, Ryan's looking really good. And they're claiming a victory, they're claiming a victory. Like Team Diderio's claiming a victory early. Poor Jason. But hey, look at him, he's continuing. That's a true roadie. We have a winner. Oh, oh Ryan missed the mic, he didn't count. He can't count to 13. He can't count to 13. He's a guitar player, he can only count in four, so he stopped at 12. He just nanny nanny boo booed him. Yes, he did, and deservedly so. We have a tie. Drooping boom arm. Guess what's just happened? Something that rarely happens. Drew pointed out a droopy mic stand, so unprecedented, it's a draw. 1-1. One, one. Unbelievable, Nick, a draw to start this whole game off. Who would have thought? Who would have thought indeed? What's interesting now is with a draw, one team celebrated and the other team celebrated, both celebrations now are null and void because neither won. I wonder if that will escalate the tension. I hope so, because... Blood on the dance floor. 
rodeo game. Guitar tune-up. All right, what is your strategy as you decide who's going to be in this event? I mean, I think our strategy is just to just coast off of our looks and charisma, as yeah. usual. Yeah. You know? It's and you think so that's far. enough? I mean, I guess these guys, this is <laughs> yeah, really. pathetic. Yeah. Consider uh, the competition. Yeah. Dude, they're not even wearing black. They're not even real roadies. It's summertime, and the tuning is easy. How were you chosen to be the one to take part in this okay. event? I'm a guitar player. I usually play eight string guitars, so this is nothing for me. This is nothing. And have you scoped out the competition? No, but it doesn't matter. Are you I... feeling a bit overconfident? Yes. Team Daddario, you guys ready? Gator, you guys ready? So now the event's underway, Willie. I mean, this is something you've done for some of the biggest names on the planet who will take nothing but perfect tuning. What would be your, your approach here, my friend? Well, the first thing I see, and uh, Ben's got the great idea, you need to tune those guitars into playing position. Gravity will have a weird effect on the guitar once in a while, and you don't know it's really in tune until you're holding it and you're rocking out. You know, the truth's in the uh, pudding, as they say, or something like that. But you gotta have it like you're gonna use it or all is lost. That could be Rob's downfall. We will see. They, now he's playing Smoke on the Water. Let's, let's. Oh, Drew's checking something. Oh. Let's see, hi E. Oh, uh, you're out. Oh, it looks like he's out. Oh, well. Good job I got my Chill Zone drink because this one's taking way too long. I'd have fired both these guys, Willie. This is unacceptable. Yeah, let's see, hi E. Let's see, D. Here. Okay. I think you got a little work to do. It's your G. We have a winner. And it's oh, look at that. Team Daddario. Oh, look at Ben. A bit of gloating, yeah. a little showboating. Of course he is. Don't know what he's saying, but I'm sure it's pleasant. Now Team Daddario has an early lead. Let's go to the next event. Now, I don't play acoustic very often, but when I do, I use a pick. And because I'm such a klutz, I invariably drop the darn thing into the sound hole. And I got to tell you, getting that out is a pain in the backside. So, uh, any tips on that one? Throw it out and get a new guitar. <laughs> it's impossible to get those things out of there. Just save yourself a lot of time and frustration. Chuck it, get the spare, because you're never going to get that thing out of there. It's impossible. Or is it? Do you actually have any experience doing this? Uh, unfortunately, only in nightmares, but not in person. So, but I feel like I'm, you know, well prepped, you know, because of my uh, sleep paralysis demon of guitar picks and an acoustic guitar. Yeah. Have you been working out in preparation? No. Who's, who's been chosen I, to? This, this, I, I got this one, guys. Guys, I got this He's one. The only one of us First of all, I'm going against Davi. <laughs> He's soft. He drives a gold Mercedes. Okay. Do you believe the trash talking helps? Absolutely. So. I think yeah. In, in no way at all. Oh, we have very low self-esteem. All right, rolling. Game on. Oh, oh, what an entry. Cartwheels. Let's go to the case cam. Now look at this. Look at that look of intensity on the face of Davidus. I swear, the guy's using telekinesis or something. He's willing his picks out of that guitar. And they are fooling. It's raining picks. Hallelujah. Power. Look at our guy over here. The precision. Dobby's all about pageantry. That's his problem. He thinks just about the image. Our man over here's got speed. He seems to be a little slow. Dobby does not use telephone. Oh, he's done. Something. Look at him. Wow, he's just done. Unfinished. See ya. I think he's a mutant. And I got to do some research right here because there's, there's no way that technique worked. Oh, we lost. It, it would appear that technique. There's no way that, that we worked. Have I think this was an winner. inside job. It would appear as though you just lost. Inside job. I demand nope. a recount. I demand a recount. Recount. <laughs> we don't, maybe You're we don't right. want to do that. We might not want to do that. Now, how are you feeling? You uh, I'm feeling like they cheated. Yeah. You know, but. And that's based on, on what observation? All right, no more questions. All right, we don't, get, we're done here. We got to strategize. Okay. But now it's even again. One draw, one win each. So going into event four and we'll level the devil. 
excellent, exciting stuff. Rodeo games! Not so sweet water bottles. For this next event, we have a special guest. And I'm pretty excited about it because it's one of my favorite new guitar players, mm. the one, the only Joe J. Nichols. On the whistle. Team Gator ready. Team Didario ready. So first up is Didario I've got to protect, and it's Trey doing the protection. And oh, Team Gator are throwing the bottles. And they're nailing Jared. Poor Trey. They're relishing this act. Yeah, poor Trey's peripheral vision has gone so far, he has no clue where Jared is. Even thankfully, it's just the cutout, because he's six, getting seven, nailed by those bottles. Eight, nine, team Gator's really ten, taking their frustration out on old JJ. Oh, 13. Oh, we had a mass attack just now. 15, oh, he's getting better. No, he's not. No, nope, Trey's still lost flailing. Is that oh, good save. Good save. Oh, and there's the whistle. I hope someone was counting that. That was a lot of hits. Those are angry young men, angry. Great How job. did that feel? You seem out of breath. A lot of unexpected <laughs> elements added in at the last minute. I think I did my best. This helmet uh, does not fit very well, but you know, you gotta make the best of what you got. Okay, now it looks like it's time for Team Gator to do the protecting, and we've got Team Daddario on the assault. We've got Casey Cooper, Running interference. Yeah, how's that feel? Oh, right. Feel all right? Ah. Come on! Hit me! Hit me! He's a pretty athletic guy, so hopefully he can use that agility to protect our good pal Jared J. Nichols. Let's Absolutely. See. All right, on the whistle. Team Diodario, ready. ready. Team Gator, ready. Yes, sir. Mm. Protect that rock star. Yep, Casey's okay, so got the helmet on. Let's see how well this agility plays out for or against him. Let's see how important his peripheral vision is, shall we? Yeah. Team Dario have armed themselves and they're letting those bottles fly. <laughs> Casey's all over that stage like a whirling dervish. Look at him go. Trying his hardest. He's getting nailed, though. Oh, hold on. Looks like Cruz called it. Game goes to Team Dario with 17 hits. Let's go over to our field correspondent, Heather Herron. All right, Jared James Nichols, it looks like the uh, Diodario team won. How do you feel about that? Why do you think Casey failed so poorly in, uh, in protecting you from the water bottles? All right, thanks for being a good sport. So that means that now, once again, Diodario have crept into the lead. Is that true? So going into the last relay, Diodario with a, a large lead. I how call it significant, 69,000 to 312 going into the final relay event. What did he just say? 69,000 to 312? Guess those water bottles were worth a lot of points. I guess so. Thousands. I bet his accountant hates him. We've seen some great competition between both teams on these four events we've had so far, but now it's that time we're at our final event. Yeah, it's been really exciting. It was kind of neck and neck, but thanks to Drew's arbitrary scoring, it's really not 69,000 versus 300 and change. Nah, not even close, but it all hinges on this one. Up to this point, nothing really matters. They were all warm-ups for this, the final event. The Rodeo Relay! Right now, you are, you are in the lead, so you don't feel threatened at all. No. Yeah. Okay, well, good luck to you. So gap, we don't need it, but thank you. Okay, have you decided who's doing which leg of the relay? The first one, the gaff tape, is the, uh, the working musician right here. Yeah. Cables, the mallet death throw into the gong. Into the gong. And, and I'll do the, the last one, the case. Okay. They have a significant lead right now going into this final relay. How are you going to pull out the victory? By the horns, by the hair, by, by anything. They have no idea where it's going to hit them from, but it's coming. All right, teams. This is the rodeo relay. We'll begin this on the whistle. Break a leg. They're all gaffed up, no place to go. So we've got yeah. Ryan versus yeah. Jason. Yeah, Ryan's having a bit of trouble getting the tape started, but now, oh, he's, he's racing ahead now. Oh, oh Jason's, Jason's having some with issues with his tape dispensary. Oh, okay. Ryan has got a clear lead now. And 
Team Diderio has finished their riser. Baton's been passed. Oh, to Mr. Eller, who is coiling his heart out. Oh, look, that's quite elegant from Ben. Mr. Scallo's got it now. He's got some catching up to do. Oh, he's doing the garden hose coil. Yeah, that's not the way to do it. Oh, that's a no-no. Looks like Rob is catching up a bit. This is getting more and more exciting. Now, Ben's confident here. Look at this. Maybe losing some valuable seconds, Ben. Could be a mistake, my friend. It could be anybody's game at this point. Ben hands off to Trey. And now it's the gong throw. Oh, but we've got Keitu coming in. Let's see what happens. Oh, yes, he got it. Just like Robin Hood. No, off to Dominos down to get the flight case. Oh, he's moving. Look at that boy go. Wow. You better load out. Wow. Oh, Casey with an impressive jump. Team Gator is an explosion of energy. Wow, this is unbelievable. And look at this. Gator is light years ahead. They're moving like a NASCAR pit team. Oh, yep, they're nearly Darryl's done, and the flight case for Dinero is not even there yet. It's just arrived, and it's too late. Close the doors, guys, and it's all over. And, and it's a wrap! Unbelievable. Oh, that was exciting. Seven. What a comeback. But they're still going. God bless them, Dinero finishing the job as a good roadie should. Team Gator comes behind for the win. That was quite an amazing comeback by Gator because I, I thought it was done, to be honest with you. I thought it was over and done, but yeah. Ben lost a few seconds there. And then Casey was that toss. But Davidas, man, the speed and the load up was perfect. Well, I couldn't believe how quickly they made up that lost time. When I saw that gaff tape snarl, I thought all was lost, but they got it done. And the accuracy of that baton toss, I think, was the key moment. Nice one. Five great events, but now it's time for our award ceremony. So let's go back to Drew to finish the proceedings. Rodeo games. Battle well fought. Teams well fought. These are the trophies for each one of the winning members of Team Gator. Oh, hey, we won. You won. Hey, all right. Okay, okay. I won Thanks. something. Yeah, okay. But here, we get after show food. So what we got in here is a, apparently an ice cold pizza, just oh like God, on the bus. <laughs> well done, teams. Well, that does it for us and draws our very first rodeo games to a conclusion. Special thanks to our referee, Drew, our field correspondent, Heather, and my co-host, Mr. Nick Bolka. And special thanks to Willie here. That was a lot of fun. Stay tuned for next year. In the meantime, I've got to get the hell out of here because this coat's going to be back before the store closes. See ya.